how good is everything? My life here. Testing sound. My life here. Yep. Alright then. <sighs> right! Alright, time to advertise my stream absolutely everywhere. Oh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Chat's not showing up on the stream. That's not good. Uh, um, hang on. Hang on. Like a webhook. Uh, a chat and stream. Copy. Again. Uh, nothing. That's not good. Hmm. That doesn't appear to be working here. Uh, that, uh... Maybe I need to update something. Uh, yep. Sorry, I'm I'm just going to do a bit of debugging here because I can't seem to figure out how this is working. Um. Hmm. Is it appearance. No, notifications, embed chat and stream. Uh, wait a minute. Hmm, restream must be down, god damn it. Ah, uh, yep, that's there, uh, testing. Hey, there we go. Right, now I should be able to just play the game from here. Thank you. 
this. Right. Now, where else in my list of discords am I allowed to advertise my own stream? Here we are. One. Am I allowed to stream advertise here? Yes, I am. Here? Most definitely. Yes, I, I'm just advertising my stream to a bunch of different discords, so, you know. Mm. Yeah, I, uh, I think that's all of them. Right. Alright, then. <laughs> I guess we'll just get into it. Right, so here is Recursed the Ice Palace. It is fan-made DLC for Recursed. Let's see how this turns out. Let's see how this turns out. Easy mode, huh? Okay, so far so good. Oh dear, it's one of the- AND THERE ARE JARS?! Oh god. <laughs> Easy mode indeed. Alright, then let's uh... Oh wait, that's not how it works. It goes like this. That doesn't work. Uh, hang on. Hmm. How high is this thing? Uh, can I reach over an extra block? Looks like I can. Okay. There we are. So far so good. <laughs> right, manhole. How bad is this then? Mm -hmm. So far so okay. What's in here then? Oh dear. Okay, well let's flood this chest for a moment. Uh, 
I don't know why my computer is experiencing all this slowdown at the moment, by the way. Uh... What? How am I gonna get this stuff into something dry? Oh, am I supposed to have gotten a copy of that chest, then put that... Yeah, that looks like what I was supposed to do. Okay, uh... Let's try that again, then. to do what again? Oh yeah, well we want to go in here, take a copy of this chest. Then throw them both underwater? I think so. Well, let's see how this thing floats. Perfect, exactly the way I, way I wanted it. Okay, so in that case... Actually, what's the best way to do this? I want to bring... Well, this chest in the bottom right is already in there, though, so... Alright, tell you what, tell you what I'll do. I'll just open up this door and uh, dry out this chest and see what happens. What?! Okay, so if I have a copy of the of the big floodable chest of the key in it in here, then I can take the block in, unlock that, put the block there. Yeah, okay. So I need to get a copy of the floodable chest in here somehow. Or at least in a dry place. No, this doesn't work. Uh, looks like I'm actually going to have to sacrifice this chest. So let's hope my hypothesis is correct. Right, that's a copy of the floodable chest. Now, I want to put you in here, then take you into... Wait a minute, this doesn't quite work, does it? This doesn't quite work, damn it. Hmm. And I've lost the floodable chest producing chest, which means I think I'm stuck here. So let's recap. I need the floodable chest down in here, which means that which means that I have to have produced it. Oh, but this room also has to be dry, so it has to be in a dry place. Which means that I have to have brought it into a chest, which means that I can't, I can't have used... What am I doing?! Of course, it's... Oh my god. I hope this is the right chest anyway. Yep, that's it. Yeah, th this chest is already here, so I didn't need to actually do any more shenanigans with producing. Now... Right, now I want to do... Uh, you, then you, was it? Yeah, that's the floodable chest, so 
I want to go in here. Take you into here. Then take you into here, and I think that should be it. Hooray! That works! Right, Cliff. Let's see how bad this gets. Okay, so we have that key in that pit that we can't actually rescue. We have this green box, which I have no idea how we're going to rescue either. That's not how this works, is it? That's not how this works at all. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that. So, so how do I get, how do I get there then? If I had a block down there, I could retrieve the key. Hmm. How many blocks do I need to get up here? Uh, another three blocks? How? Okay, so I need three more blocks in order to get up there. But I started with only two items. That means at some point I'm going to need to be able to bring out items for free here. Ooh, but then... Ah, now that's interesting. Okay, I think I see how this is done now. First we take out this key. Let's just move this guy closer here. Then we jettison this box. do this and we can actually use it to take out another key but more importantly we can now t actually take out this box and now we have three items and then we can just do the same thing again a couple more times Just gotta make sure not to lock the screen box behind anything, though. No, no, that, that's not right. It's, uh... Go in here. Take the box. Keep the key. <laughs> In fact, we can just keep duping keys here, which is pretty awesome, right? But the key is, of course, we had to have had a second box out there beforehand or else stuff would have gone bad. Right, now we can use this box to rescue that box. And also dupe a key in the process, I suppose. In fact, we may as well just use this key to get another box. Right, 
grab a key from the pile of keys, take that, get the box here, jump up, take you, pop you down here, get the box here, and then take this box out. Right, and then we just play the same tune again. Second verse, same with the blah, blah, blah. Second verse, same as the first or something. Now. <sighs> Haven't streamed for so long, I'd almost forgotten how difficult it is to basically talk while there's music in your ear. Right? Hooray! Side effect. How's this then? Okay, we've got two green boxes. Uh... Is that acid? I think that's acid. That doesn't bode well. What the hell? What the actual hell, man? Let's see, I can take out the green box and put it there. But how am I gonna get that key? Oh right, I flood this place, don't I? Doesn't flood it high enough to reach the crystal, of course. But I do get a key out of it. The question is... SHIT! Ah! Jump for the diamond? There isn't a diamond in here, what the hell? <laughs> oh, but I can only take out one of these at a time. That's not a problem. The second question is how on earth I'm gonna get that box? You can't get that one without flooding things, right? Yeah. So once you flood it, you basically only have one use for it, right? Gods, this is gonna be so... Uh... Wait, hold on a moment! I have to flood this box. Right, let's move this here. This is a place where it won't be flooded. Ah, no, 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 no. That's not quite how this works at all. Ah. Okay, so I need to summarize what I need to do here. So, in order to get that box... Okay, hold on. Quick question. Can I reach that crystal if I have two boxes stacked over here? I think I can. Okay, cool. So, my goal is to get two boxes out here. Now... To get the box in the top left here, I have to flood the room and then carry it either out or in. If I flooded the room, then no, I would have to carry it out. Okay, so my last step is going to be carrying that top left box out of this room, which is already flooded, into here. And then, because that box is green, that means I must already have a box here waiting for me. Yup, Ice Palace. Oh yeah, so this is actually a community DLC. <sighs> right, so how on earth does this thing work? Two box boxes there, that one must have come from there. Uh, our last step must have been to do that. 
somehow we had two keys there? Oh, what happens when you do that? Ah, oh, but if you flood this room beforehand, then... Hmm... No, it can't possibly be everywhere, can it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, but just in case, I think I might want to check. Um, let's go in here first. I'm pretty sure this is not how things work. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go out here, take this. Right, I'm going to test out whether this acid works the way I think it does. Which, I think the answer to my question here is actually is going to be no, by the way. Yep, as I thought. Okay, so that doesn't work. No, this isn't right. I want to take this out. Put it in the acid here. So now this block is just going, going to be here without any fear of anything bad happening. And now if I just keep going, I should be able to... Is that right? Something tells me that's not quite right. Uh, no, that's not what I want, is it? I think I want this chest in here. That was a And go in there, get the keys, pull them out. Okay, cool, this works, I think. Actually, I can just take this key first. Cool, so I have my other box here, and now I just go up here, and I should be able to make it. Hooray! Next! Sack. Oh boy, what's this one gonna be? I think I've heard something about this level. Eh? Okay, so I... How am I gonna get that guy out? gonna get, get the green block out what if here once I'm done. Hmm. What if I try putting jars in jars then Oh yeah yeah that, that does kinda work. Or maybe not. Hmm no because I'm not gonna be able to get up get back up there am I?
What if I put a jar in a jar? Put a jar in a jar, then I can... No, that doesn't help me with getting anything up here. Hmm. So, the problem here is that... In order to do anything in this room, I need to have brought a block into here. Or... Or... or, or, or. No, I definitely need to have brought a block into here at some point. So, I mean, I'm guessing we're gonna have to do that. Oh! Doesn't this chest now behave as a block? If I put that chest in there... Actually, how am I gonna extract the chest once I'm done? Do I need to extract the chest once I'm done? Because the only way I'm going to be able to get back up here is if I jump on top of both blocks. And when I do that, I can't fiddle around with the block it's the blocks themselves. Hmm. There's no way for me to get a block out of here, is there? Only by bringing a block in, which isn't going to help. Okay. So, I'm going to have to do this and then figure out what the hell happens next, right? Right, you, you can go down here now, I guess. No clue what on, how on earth I'm going to get this key out here. Without getting the ch using the chest at least. Without using the chest? Oh. If I can do that, then I can bring that in. Because in the end, I'm going to need to exit via either. Okay, so that is a jar containing a box and uh, both of those. Let's make another one of those, just in case. do with that key then. Put the chest in the jar. Then stuff doesn't really work out too well. What if I put the jar in the jar? If I put the jar in the jar. Now if I put the jar in the chest, then jar that. Then put the chest inside there. I still don't see how I'm going to get out get out at the very top and also not and also carry stuff with me. Oh hello Pork Punky. This is highly recursive. <laughs> but so far it's been pretty challenging and this one's gotten me stumped. Always a good sign. So let's see, I need to get the key up here. In order to do that I need to that doesn't quite work. Hmm. I need to get the key up here. In order for that to happen, I need to have a block down here. And the key up down here. And then carry that out. So how am I going to get both the block and the key out? How am I going to get the block out at all? Yeah, how am I going to get the block out of this place? Because the only way I'm going to jump out from down 
from down there up back here as if I have two blocks there. But then that doesn't exactly see the possible. God, no, you're you're joking. That Hold on, so what's my plan here? I put one of those inside the other. Then I can carry a box into the jar and then uh carry the box into the jar. That leaves me with three boxes down there. I can put a put an item up here, say a box, then maybe throw the key up. Throw the key up. That allows me to get the key out. What about the box? Because once I do that, I'm going to be trapped here. If I took the jar into here, then I could do exactly that. And then escape. Yes! At least I hope this works. I, I think this works, at least. Uh, let's see. So what was I trying to do again? Right. I take this guy. Yeah, I take you into here. Then I do this. Oh. Oh. Damn it! I'm one block short! And I did it wrong. Fuck. Oh well. This jar by- this jar is just junk. So, uh, let's see. Right, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> So I've completed all of the levels before this one, so far. Back in here. So getting the key out is easier than getting the block out. How am I going to get the block out, though? If I had two blocks there, then I could push that guy in here. Anyway, anyway, right, yes, let's, uh, take this block, pop it in here. Right, that one's now a trash bag. But let's see. Okay, so after much effort, I've now extracted the key. Now the question is, how do I extract the box? To extract the box, I'm either going to need the chest in here and two blank boxes, which is which doesn't seem to be possible. Doesn't it? If I take the chest in here after having made a jar, then I can take a block down there, jar that, and then... Right. And now that allows me to put this guy on, on there. 
but now I can't actually get out on the very top layer. Damn. What Port Ponky at half two in the oh I yep very good it's two thirty yep 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 very good very good ah dear how am I going to get that block out this is a uh, this. Getting the key out was not too difficult, but getting the block out, that's another challenge entirely. So, 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 let's see. To get the block out, I'm going to need three blank boxes. Or I'm going to need a chest in here and two blank boxes to get myself out. So I need, so either way, I'm going to need to have a blank box in here and a chest, which doesn't exactly seem possible. <laughs> Very good for Funky. Oh dear. Hmm. Cause this key isn't going to help me with anything, right? So Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe I just need to get a block out here. It's just any block, not necessarily the enchanted one. Although the enchanted one seems to be an easier task. Yeah. I have a chest there. I place the enchanted block in there. I can then jump out, put them out there. Yeah, that works. The question is how do I get three boxes there? That doesn't have to be a... Ah, but then you would still need to... Hmm... So I get three boxes here, in the very top layer. This very top layer is either going to be a chest or a jar. If it's a chest, then... I must have brought that box into it downwards. Or I must have brought it upwards from a jar. If I brought it downwards, then I've already completed the level beforehand, so we can rule that out. If I brought it upwards from a jar, why couldn't I have done that same thing, but with the jar on the outside? Let's come back to that case later. Instead, suppose the top level were a jar. If the top level were a jar, and I have three of those... Then either way, I would still have had to bring a box out from a jar. Which means at some point I must have four? Am I skipping something? the chest in with me. Oh wait, hold on. No, if, if I brought it up, I could have brought, that, brought it out from either a chest or a jar. Yeah. Can I bring a jar out? 
Let's think, let's think. Can I bring a jar out of here? Can I, or rather, can I bring a jar out of another jar? Let's see, if I have one jar inside the other, then to bring it out I would need three boxes. Which means that I would have to bring in a box there, then pull the jar out. Ooh, that would give me something. What it would give me is uh, just a jar inside this box, though. And I don't really think that's helpful. Because if I have a jar inside this box, and I don't yet have three boxes in here, then the only way I'm going to get out... Get do anything with that jar, or rather preserve that jar, is to exit through the fissure and then enclose it back inside another jar. So that's not going to help. In fact, that's doubly not going to help because I will have now lost the box. What the hell? Yes, Watson. Yes, it does. Feel free to post some fake hints or something. Don't worry. <laughs> ah, I'm going to regret that, aren't I? Proof of how to do it. That will work. <laughs> Can never have too many of those jars. My one fear is that I just won't be able to get out if I do that, right? Put that there. I mean... How many boxes do I need to get up there again? Two, right? Yeah, two. Wait, I only need two boxes to get out there? Really? Yeah, yeah. If I had three boxes in here, then I could get the enchanted box out. But if I had three boxes in here, then I'd have to have gotten them from a bunch of jars. Actually, you can only take one item out of a jar, so I would have to have had two jars in here, which is completely impossible, right? Yeah, that's completely impossible. So. So. That means that... I can't rescue a box by putting a jar in here. Or rather, I can't rescue a box if the chest is the top level, right? If the chest is the top level, then I can only rescue a box by dragging a box in or by pulling a box out of a jar. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Okay, so I need... Okay, so if the top level now is a jar, how does that change things? If the top level is a jar, then that means that I can have four items in here. Exactly what I need. Uh, 
Yeah, the top level would have to be a jar. That that's what I'm getting here. So the top level has to be a jar. Okay, so the top level has to be a jar. That much is pretty much certain. So if the top level is a jar and I need four objects in it, then when I first created the jar, I had to have three objects, right? That means that I have to drag an object from outside into this chest, then create a jar, somehow rescue the jar, drag another object in, Okay, so how am I going to rescue the jar? I'd need four objects. Damn it! How does this thing work? Right, let's... Right, let's think about this again. So, if we have four items in this chest, that's not possible because we can't actually manufacture items without a chest. Right, right. So, you have four items in a jar. How do I convert a jar into a block? <clears throat> if I'm in this room, that is. Hmm. Okay, uh, quick question, Watson. Have I already screwed the level up somehow? help, does it? Alright, so the game state is this, okay? I have the che big chest out here, the key here, a bunch of jars here, and, uh, and the green block down there, and that's it. I'm pretty sure that's all that's needed, right? I'm fairly sure those mm, these jars on the left are complete junk, by the way, in the sense that they mm, they simply can't be escaped. So yeah, that's the game state. Now, what the hell do I do here? 
Oh man, that's irritating. Maybe I'll come back to this one later. What about deficient? What, what, what are you? Okay, so we have a key, enchanted box, enchanted chest, and uh, oh dear. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. Memorable in some way? Well, that that's going to be a bit of an issue now, isn't it? This here, get out, take this chest over, get the key in here, and exit through the jar. <clears throat> now we put the green chest inside the jar, so now it's inside itself. Oh, hang on, does that... wonder if we can do this. Wait, no, if we go down there, we're gonna get trapped. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. Hmm. So I can get the key in if I use jars. Hmm. If I get the key in by using a jar, then I can... If I create a jar of this room, then I can take it down there, and that would give me the key there, wouldn't it? 
then I could throw the key across, throw the chest across, put the box there, unlock that door. Oh wow, I, f I think this gives me quite a lot actually. Hmm. There we go. <coughs> Good gods. Right. Ah? Uh, wonder what this passage at the very bottom is for. Who knows? Okay, well, so the first move is quite obvious here. Right. First of all, I need to see what this room looks like when flooded. Okay, I can't get the key if it's flooded. And you? What do you look like? Eh? Eh? How the hell do I work with you? Okay, well, maybe I should just see what this guy looks like first. Let's move you out here for a moment. Oh dear, it's a recursive one. Hmm. So I go there. So I basically have to flood the room, then put that on dry, then place it, then move it there, then on, then go out, and then I'll have one. Except I have to go out with a key too. Hmm. I have to go out with a key, and there also has to be a block here. Well, going out with a key isn't too difficult, is it? And getting a block there won't be too difficult either. Ah, but getting both is going to be the tough one. Fuck it, let's just try to paradox this level and see what happens, right? Wait, no, that's not how you paradox. What am I doing? 
totally me. Right. Stuff you in here. Let's paradox and see what happens. Mm hmm. Got a fan there. Be there. And we have this guy, which does the exact same thing. Uh, not really sure what to make of this, actually. How am I going to get two in there? I would need green chest inside it now. Can't really enter the green chest there. No, that fan isn't green. Uh, yeah, it's the chest that's green. The point of this was to get the green chest inside itself, right? So I can make an infinite loop, which so far is so good, but now what? Wait, I could have brought a key in here, couldn't I? That? No, I don't think that would have helped. No, that doesn't work. Uh... Hmm. If only there were a way I could drop this guy down a level. Oh. Really? Really? I really hope I don't have to paradox again in here. That would just be ridiculous. <sighs> Although, if I could carry something in here, that might help. Oh dear. What about rabbit hole? What about you? How do you work? Oh, hmm. What? 
So I need to get an infinite and be able to get an infinite number of boxes out there. How in the world is that going to work? Uh, well, let's see. So first of all, I'm going to need to do this. Wait, have I just screwed myself over? Because now I can't... No, that's not true, actually. Oh, but now I can't actually get out, so that doesn't seem right either. Hmm. Yeah, the problem is that if I go up there, I can't get to the exit, and if I drop this guy, then I've blocked my only way out. Let's try going deeper and see what happens. Unless... Nope, that doesn't work. Damn it. rescue that green chest. Oh! Oh, I, I think I've got it. This is very, very nice. Although, that doesn't really help me, does it? Because now I'm just back where I started, at the very start of the level, except a bunch of levels down. Hmm. Okay, so it's definitely possible to rescue this chest. If I have two blocks up there. Okay, well, let's play around with this level a little more and see what else happens. Two blocks there. Can I get three blocks there? Somehow I don't think so, because I would have to pull some pull a block out of the chest, which is just outright impossible, right? Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I need four blocks to get to that crystal, I think, which is going to be quite a nuisance. Oh, what am I doing? Of course it works like that. Silly me. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I'm fairly sure the answer is four, but just in case I'm wrong. Three? Three? Huh. I... Oh, yes, yes, it is three. Silly me. Okay, so I have two blocks here now. Okay, right, I have two blocks out here. Can I get any more blocks out here? I think I just need the one. So what, do I just repeat the same thing again? And first, same as the first?
I mean, I can carry a box forward, but that doesn't help, so I have to carry a back box backwards. So... So if I have two blocks in the previous bit... Okay, so if I have two blocks in the next level down, then I can use it to pull a block, block up. Right? And if I have three blocks here, then I can... Throw them all down there, jump into the chest, throw the chest down there, jump out, and I'll be down there along with the three blocks. Yes. So, can I get another block here? I get two blocks here I'd need two blocks there and that doesn't immediately seem possible although if I had two blocks in the next level down well that this is quickly getting out of hand oh dear right let's do that again right then I can Jump in here, and exit. And do this. So far so good. Now I... And get one of these blocks out. Wait, oh no, really? Oh dear. If I dragged another box in here, could I have done anything? I don't think so. Well, let's say I go back up, right? Because I'm fairly sure if I go back up now, there's going to be a box missing on the level above, right? Yeah.
If I pull something up, how does that... Okay, how am I getting a box up? I need a box there in the first place? Or do I? Oh, hello, Mantabank. So, this is Recursed the Ice Palace, which is a fan made DLC for Recursed. And I am not entirely sure what to do here. Hmm. So, I need to pull a box from the layer below up into here, right? How am I going to do that? I would either need two boxes here, or I would need to pull something up from the layer. Yeah, I, I think I'd need two boxes here, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Hmm. What a choke point. I have two boxes in here. Now hold on. Right, the point is that I need to pull a box from the layer below up into here. So, that must mean that I pull a box from here upwards without putting, taking a box from above. But there's only the one box and I can't get that out easily. So that must mean that I have two boxes in here, which means I must have pulled one up from the layer below. And then that's just an infinite regress, so that's not quite it, is it? I have to find a new technique here.
This one's gotten me stumped. Like, I swear I have a proof that this is impossible, but now I'm not so sure, because... Well, originally I thought it was impossible to get the chest from up here downwards. But now that I've actually done it, I'm thinking maybe there's something else that's impossible that I don't know about. Ah. No, I don't need that. No, this doesn't actually help. I swear this is impossible. And yet I only have these three levels open, by the way, so... What the hell am I supposed to do here? Right, sunken, this one I'm not entirely sure how to work with. Sack, just... I'm fairly sure this one's impossible as well. <laughs> right, let's look for paradoxes. Easy mode, I'm fairly sure that chest goes here, so there's no paradox here. Uh, manhole. Did this one have a green chest? No, it didn't. Lift. This one, I'm fairly sure it didn't have a green chest. Yeah, it doesn't. Oops. Uh, the side effect, yes. No, this one doesn't have a green chest. Yeah, it's not possible to paradox. Actually, no, it is. Yeah, this paradox is going to take a bit of work, but it's doable. It's just the technique you use from class, isn't it? Yeah. Oops. Okay, uh, pop this in here. trying to do again? Uh, I don't think that's how I did this the first time, was it? Uh, let's try it again. Right, yes, and then you go here. Jump in here. Go forward, make a jar, and then, yeah. What the? I have no idea what that emote is. Uh, Does anyone have any idea what that emote is? Because I don't know. Give me a sec. Does, does Restream Chat know what that emote is? 
I mean, it's just it. But that... Where did this emote even come from? Certainly not one of my emotes. This is not one of my emotes. What the hell? Yeah, I have no idea how to turn this off actually, so... Who the hell knows? Anyway, right, yeah, back to the game, which is here, so, uh... Like, what is this thing? Monty Python? Oh wait, I think I did this wrong. No, 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 this is fine. No, it's not. I wanted to take this. It? It is decidedly not fine. God damn it. And, you know, I only just solved this, like, what, a half hour ago, so... I'm surprised I've already forgotten how I did this. Actually, on second thought, getting the, getting the paradox here is less easy than I thought. I need to unlock the, the, that, place the chest there, then exit from the chest. But then... But then what? Okay, uh, let, let's try that again. I think I have a new idea this time. New ideas basically to just recurse a lot. Right, now just jump into the chest a couple more times. Then I go into here. Wait, no, that's not it. Mm -hmm. Safety layers is probably the right term here. Jar there. I can then get the green chest up there. Oh no, no, that that is actually what I wanted to do, right? Yeah. So I want to make a jar of this. Then I want to take the chest into here. 
And now the chest is up there. Good so far. And now... Now I want to... Go in here. Make a jar of this. Go in here. Take this key. Put it into the jar. Yes, there we are. Setup complete. Now we can... Do this. Uh, that doesn't bode well. There we are. See you. Right, now I just place the chest there. And now I j guess I just abscond. Abscond to my doom or something. Something tells me I should have brought that block with me. Wait. Yep, here we are. Hmm. Yep, something tells me I definitely should have brought that block with me. Yep, fairly sure this is impossible without bringing the block. God damn it! <sighs> right, let's try that again. Go in here. Make a jar. Bring it out. Bring the key in. Mm -hmm. Jump in here a couple of times. Now, now we make a jar, put the chest in, right? Or is it make a jar, put the key in? No, it's make a jar, put the chest in. Make a jar, put the chest in, and, uh... Yeah, I think that's right. Make a jar. Put the chest in. The chest is now up here. Jump in here. Make a jar, put the key in. Make a jar, put the key in. Throw everything over to the right. Get this block, put it over here. Jump in here. Take the block. Over here, take the chest, put it right here, and then take the block and abscond. Hmm, that didn't quite help. Yeah, I, I couldn't have taken anything else there. So... What happens if you try to float two keys? What happens if you try to float a key on top of a block? Eh, I'm dubious. I am dubious about this. Now I'm fairly sure this level shouldn't involve any cheese. 
of some sort. So how am I going to do this? This doesn't really work, right? It doesn't really help. So, what on earth am I missing in this level? Is there something I can do with two enchanted keys that I can't do with one? Because that seems to be what this level is trying to tell me. But it's not at all clear what I do with two enchanted keys. Okay, so throwing down doesn't work while you're in an airstream. And I don't see any way to risk to rescue this guy. Oh, Mantabank, you've played this as well. Hmm. Not sure if I should take those as hints yet, but sure, why not? And the other thing is, I have no idea how I'm going to get up there either, right? Like, that's the other weird thing. Get out, and get out the pit there. Hmm. So, Watson, have I already rendered this paradox level unsolvable? Hmm. 
Okay. I mean, I'm just looking at all of these levels right now, and I'm not entirely sure how to approach any of them. Considering that I bas I've basically proven to myself that some of these seem to be impossible. Wait, no, that's not the right chest. That's not the right chest at all. Uh, we want this chest out of the water first. Take this guy, put it in here. Uh, right, we want this block too. Okay, take this block, put it in here. Take you, put it in here. Put you, uh, somewhere. Where? Uh, here? Yeah, because it won't flood in. Right, yeah, yeah. Here's fine. Take the block out. Let's place that key here for now. problem is that we would like a key in here, and I don't see how we're going to do it. Right? Alternatively, if we could get a key there. No, no, that won't work at all. Right, so we need a key in here. That means we need this chest in here, in which case I'm not entirely sure how we're going to... Oh! We don't need this block at all. Place you... Oh wait, actually no, we do need the block. Hmm. Yeah, we do need to block the block to get that guy initially. Hmm. Let's see, hold on. So we want to get this chest over here, somewhere over to the right, and because of how we enter this guy, it has to be dry, <coughs> which means it has to be up there. Mm. That means we need a block to get to it, but also we need a key. Mm. And you know, I could paradox this room right now if I wanted to, but I'm not entirely sure what I'd do. Well, fuck it, I, I guess I'm paradoxing then. And I may as well also take this block with me, because blocks tend to be more useful than... Oh wait, didn't... didn't yeah, I'm pretty sure I already did this, didn't I? Yeah, there's the... Or rather, I already looked at it.
So Watson, just to make sure, unlocking a power, completing a paradox doesn't actually unlock any more levels, does it? At least I'm fairly sure that's not how it worked in the original game. I mean, I heavily suspect that that mechanic of fans only working if they're on solid ground, I heavily suspect that mechanic is going to be used in here somewhere, so... Still, how on earth am I going to do this one? Because, in order to complete this, I need to have two keys, which means I'm going to need to bring a key from the top layer down, or I'm going to need to bring a key from... Uh, sorry, I need to bring a key from that top ledge down, or I'm going to need to bring a key from another layer below upwards. Well, but if I bring a key from another layer below upwards, since none of the keys are green, we're sure none of the keys are green, right? That's what it looks like. Oh, of course! I can paradox here by putting the green chest inside this guy and then exiting. And if I bring along, say... No, not not the fan. Not the fan. Oh, but then... I'd have to bring along, like, a key or something, wouldn't I? No, I think I'd have to bring along the fan. There's just nothing else I can bring along. Okay, so if I bring along a fan, what does that allow me to do? That allows me to get this chest out. No, that's not right. It allows me to get a chest on the left on the left there. Sorry, a fan on the left there, which isn't very helpful. Hmm. Right? Let me run through that again. If I re-paradox and I don't have a key in the room with me, then the only other possibility for what I can have in the room with me. It can't be a chest, it would have to be a fan. So I exit this paradox while holding a fan. That leaves me on the left there with just a fan. 
Which, yeah, that's not helpful. Maybe I can use this. Now, I'm pretty sure this doesn't work. Yep, that doesn't work at all. Nope, no sir, no siree, this is no good. <sighs> I can't seem to grok any of these three levels. I can't think of any situation here where I'd want to jump a smaller distance. Oh yeah, that's because the primer music doesn't actually have an underwater theme, does it? Oh. Oh, oh, right, I see, I see. <laughs> Wait a minute, can I flood the Paradox Room? I don't think I can. And if I'm in a Paradox Room, can I then jump into one of these outside us? Hmm. Thinky, thinky, thinky face. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, that doesn't work at all, does it? Okay. Let's see, how do I do that? Okay, so let's recap what I need to do in this level. In this level, I need to... Go into the chest while it's dry. Which means it's going to be up here. Or maybe it isn't up here. Oh my goodness me, I think I have a good idea now. <laughs> ah. I just hope this works, though. Damn it. Right. This is a little irritating, but I think it will get the job done. Yeah, let's just sort of take a bath or something. I really don't understand why this bit of the ceiling is needed, though. Because I can just do this. And then I can throw it from there, yeah. Yeah, throw it from there, then it'll land in there, and then I just need to... Not yet, I need to get the key first. Don't I? Right. Now I think I should- oh fuck. Ah! Right. So, what's the plan? I go in there. With the key, I drop the key for a moment, go up to the ledge on the left, throw the green chest across, so, and then exit, which means I'll be down out there holding a key. Yes, this will work, I, I think. I think it'll work anyway. Yes, there we are. Right, that was nice. Now, sack, yeah, sack doesn't actually have any water in it, so I can't use the same sort of trick. So, sell. Right. Oh my goodness me, this is, this is bad. Well, time to explore. What's in these green chests? The same room. What's in the other green chest? Also the same room. Fucking hell! All right. Okay, so first order of business is obviously get the two 
green chests out of the way. Then figure out how I'm going to do the rest of this. In order to get that green ch green block, I'm going to need to flood the room with acid. That's not going to be easy. Um... <laughs> Wait, if I flood the room with acid, then when I exit, I- Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, but wait a second, if I flood- Maybe I'm supposed to lock one of these chests behind the- No, that doesn't work. And I thought for sure the solution might involve locking one of these chests behind these doors just to keep it safe. That... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, all of these puzzles are monsters. But yeah, there doesn't appear to be any place that's safe from the acid. So, when I flood one of these chests, what happens next? I flood the chest in order to get the block, that means that everything is now non-permanent. So then I get the block, go up... Am I being too hasty by going up? How am I going to get there anyway? It seems like I would need a block here, and then stand on top of that lock and then throw the green chest off to the right. So the question is, how do I do that if by getting the block I destroy all the green chests? amazing wow fucking hell that's amazing I'm flabbergasted holy shit Actually, I think I've forked this, but holy crap! That's such an amazing idea! <laughs> right, and then I jump into one of these, take you, open you up, put the green chest here, then flood this green chest so I can get the block, and then what? 
jump in there. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Holy shit, wow. I mean, L.A. Watson, you're- you're not wrong with that. I've sort of internalized that too. Good gods, though. This level it really is a monster. Wait, hold on. If I do that... Yeah, I jump in here first. Just to do that a couple more times, just to be safe. Yeah. Wow! Holy shit! That... That was such a crazy idea. Wow! What the hell is this?! The fuck is this shit?! Okay, well, what happens if I flood this room? Oh, shit, I get rid of the oobleck is what happens. Okay, well... Th no worries, I can deal with that. Put the oobleck here. Mm -hmm. So this is a jar containing an oobleck. Yes. That's how storage goes. Now I'm going to put this one in here, flood it, and see what happens. How am I ever going to get up there, though? I, I need to flood this chest, but I don't see how that... Ah, I used the oobleck to duplicate this room, and then... Wait, do I? Do I, though? Because after that, it's still not exactly clear what I'm going to do here. Oh my fucking god, I have to platform through all of that?! Why?
Oh, right, I forgot to get rid of that text. Ha 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 ha. Silly me. Right, let's see. So, what was I planning earlier? Wait a minute! I can duplicate Ooblek! Or rather, well, can I really duplicate it per se? No, no, actually I can't. I can't. Uh... Right? Yeah, that's not duplication. Uh... Hmm. Okay, well, what happens if I dupe this chest, flood this room? Yeah, as I expected. The problem here is that I also need a key, and that's not going to be easy to get. Hmm. So, I'm going to do this. Oh, but how do I get the key? Uh... I need to bring both a key and one of these guys in here, right? Okay, well, what if I pop you in here? Well, I can only ever take one item out of these, out of this, so... What? Hold on, so let's see. How, what do I need? I need a block here. Do I? Do I indeed? Let's check that again. So, in the end, I'm going to need at least two keys so I can platform all the way up here, right? So if I have two keys... Then what? If I have two keys, well... Then... Yeah, I think the only way I'm going to be able to get a block is if I clone this room and flood it. But if that's the case, then... Then I'll only get one block, which I don't really think is enough. Well, maybe I'll try it. Okay, yeah, the other problem is, if I clone the room and flood it, 
I also need a key in here, which also seems impossible. Because I can only ever take one item in here. So where's that second item going to come from? This one's difficult. Fissures are often difficult to work with. Okay, so in order to get any progress done, I have to do this. Now, now the problem is I can't actually get anything out of here, so... This is where I have the jar. That's a jar containing two with the bottom block at the... Blah, 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 with the non-thingy block at the bottom. Right, now this guy is garbage, so let's put that there. And so, ex and so, as before, extracting the key is easy. Extracting the block is difficult. I'm really not sure how I'm going to do this. Because the key is basically useless, except for getting out. Getting it out and using it on this door.
I mean, as far as I can tell, this is how you have to start, right? You have to start off by doing this. Then you have to exit. And then... Well, at the very least, you don't lose anything by doing this, right? Is there some mechanic with keys that I simply don't know about? This recursive mess is... well, it's a recursive mess. Like, what can I say about it? Okay, so, so far, I've basically established to my satisfaction that I need to get the green block out of here. Now, if I get the green block out of here, then that means that either I have three blocks in the... Although, then again, I could also get it out of a jar. Hmm. Well, in either case, I would need either three blocks other than the green block to get it out or I would need two blocks and a green chest or oh oh hold on
All right, I'm gonna try this, see what happens. What happens is, I get, is that I get stuck. Great job, Ed, great job. Oh dear. Wait a minute. No, you can make as many jars as you want. It's just that in this situation, I don't exactly see how doing so will help. Okay, let's see. Can I make a jar with three blocks in it? Because if I can, I think I can get this solved. If I made a jar with three blocks in it, that means I need a... another block in here? get three blocks into here then if I can get three blocks into here then hmm. if I can get three blocks into here how does that make how does that help things I would need to bring a block from outside or I would need to bring a block from inside upwards via a jar Okay, so how do I get a block out of a jar? Well, actually, no, if I get... Hmm. I make just... 
They could draw on three blocks. Hmm? How's that going to help me? Because ultimately, I still don't see a way to... Uh... 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 No, I can't pull any of those out. Yeah, as far as I can tell, I'm going to need to pull something, pull a block out of a jar in order to get anything done here. But to pull a block out of a jar, and it would have to be a non-permanent block as well. If I pull a non-permanent block out of a jar, then that means that I already have four blocks in the jar. Which just leads me back to the same problem I had earlier. So how does this so how is this level possible? I might need a genuine hint here. Um, why am I here though? You might want to play the original game first, because if you haven't, this will make no sense to you whatsoever. But if you have, then maybe you could help me with this. Yeah, I'm genuinely puzzled here. This level seems genuinely impossible. Oh, did I? No, that's probably not right. I've forgotten which jar is which again. Uh, no, no, no. This is the normal jar, and this is the nested jar.
Yeah, I still have no idea how to do this. Like, this- I swear this actually is impossible, though. <laughs> oh, dear. So, uh, Watson, do you have any idea how I'm going to get this green block out of here? I just have these three levels, and uh, I'm not making good headway on any of them. Like, the trick for this one to get the, ch uh, the chest out, this was neat, right? Because you just do this. Not that. Um, yeah, this. Jump in, and then jump out again. And then you're left with this, which is neat. question is what happens next because you still need another block Okay, uh, how about this? Does this level involve doing a move such as this? Wait a minute. Hmm. I wonder. If I had a block up there, then I could throw the chest up there. And then what? Then, when I exit the ch the... Nice. Very nice. Wait, if that wasn't your solution, then what was? Now, I only need three blocks here, so fuck yeah! Ah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, high tide. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. We've got a bunch of rooms that are all flooded. Well, we can first take the key from here. Use it to go up here. That's all good so far. Uh. Okay, so evidently I want to unflood this room. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm certainly willing to take a look at what you figured out on rabbit hole. What the hell do I do here, though? I can't unflood this room. Although that having been said, I can all I can just take a key in here. It'll destroy the oobleck, though. Okay, so I think my first question is, how do I unflood any of these rooms? I think that's the key question here. How do I unflood these rooms? Is something the matter, Watson? Oh dear, something's the matter then. Oh dear, what has Watson figured out now?
I don't see any way to unflood any of these rooms, though. And I also don't see any way how that would actually help. And I also don't see what that fissure is useful for. What the hell is going on with this level? Ah, crap, I, I forgot I was going to... Oh, uh, no, that doesn't work. Uh, shit. Let's go here. Go here a bunch more times. Sure, that'll probably be enough. Right. Now, how do we do this? We carry this all the way back. Ah, no, that's uh, not how that works, I don't think. Well, maybe I'll just try it once more. Yeah, there's no way to do that. There's nothing ridiculous about it. you can do that. What? What do you mean it's a part of the solution? You're fucking with me. How can that be a part of this?
So hold on, Watson, uh, which of these levels have you solved so far? There just simply isn't enough time to do that, which is going to be very annoying. Mm. Jump out of one of these chests while also...
Okay, let's do this then. I've no idea how I'm going to use the jar at all here, by the way. Really not sure how I'm going to do any of this. This is just... Yeah, sure, show me your alt solution on Rabbit Hole. Maybe it'll inspire me something. Hold on a moment. Restream chat appears to have uh, broken. Give me a sec to refresh. Oh, wait, no, there it is. There it is. Just took a while. Yep, I know how I can do that, yes. You're not suggesting I put a whole stack of enchanted blocks. Wait, with one block? Oh, I see what you mean now. Uh, I, I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I see what you mean. So, what, you balance the this block over here, you put this guy over here, you jump in, that falls down, and then you get out. Sure. But the problem with this is that it doesn't actually allow you to get a block out, does it? Yeah, I'm still not exactly sure how that fact is going to help very much. Because, you know, if you do that, you haven't actually gained anything, as far as I can tell.
Right, what was I doing again? Um, right, back to actually playing the game. So... So yeah, do you have a hint for me on Sack? Because this is a little weird. Archer and High Tide are both difficult too. Stare blankly at the screen? Uh...
Oh, oh wow. I think I have an idea now. Question is, will it work? I don't know. I, I think I've done it. Hey Watson, I hope you were watching. Fuck yeah. Okay, we have high tide switch and mutual. Watson? Oh, come on! <laughs> right. Oh dear. Eh? Yep, it's cauldron! Okay, so these two rooms are very subtly different. Alright. What about you? You're... I'm pretty sure you're in the same room. Right, so how am I going to do this? Can I get up there? Yes, I can. Can I get up there? No, I don't have a block. Hmm. Oh dear, it's this damn thing again. Oh wait, no, not again, no. Th this is different. Shit. I am not ready for this platforming challenge. Right, what about Switch? What about you? Let's see. Hey. Hey. What? This is possible? 
You need two blocks to get back up there. Wait a minute. These are two green chests. So if I pull this one out here, put this one back in here, and oh my goodness me, we've done something weird now. Shit. What goes on? No, that's that's not in the right. Um, wait. Okay, so this one goes to the other room, and this one goes to this room. Alright. That's, uh... Okay, so far this doesn't look too bad. Right, I see where the problem is now. We can only put one of them in here. Mm. How do I take another block out of here? Oh lord. Okay, well, what if I put you over here on the edge? Can I then throw you up here? No, I can't. I am... about... One block too short. I don't think that's possible either. Hmm. So yeah, so far these levels are really good, but also really difficult. Uh, like, like all of the levels so far, hang on. So, so far, let me look at levels. There's easy mode, which is act, which is one of the levels. Well, it's not one of the levels. It's very, it's the sort of level you might well see in the Ooblet Conundrum. There is manhole, which... What, that was the one involving... This manhole is an upgraded version of some of the levels you might see in Sewer. Cliff... Cliff was... I don't remember how I did this one. Oh yeah, so Cliff, this one is actually just upgraded dungeon. Side effect, this one was somewhat clever, I think. I... Um... No, side effect is just upgraded ruins. Sack, on the other hand, I have no idea how to do. Deficient, right. Deficient, this one was... Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, this one was also upgraded. Mm. Temple. Uh, sunken. Sunken, sunken, sunken. Yeah, this is one's upgraded obstruction. Rabbit hole... 
Right, Rabbit Hole is one of the levels you might find in the Void. Cell is another level you might find in the Void. Barter, it's not a level you'd find in... It's almost a level you'd find in the Void, except for the fact that it also has Ooblek. And then these last three, I don't know how to rate because I have no idea what the solution is. <sighs> <laughs> I'm refer I'm referring to how good these levels are, basically. Like the void levels in Recursed are all pretty damn good. And the last couple and the last few levels that I've managed to beat are also pretty damn good. Barter, Cell, Rabbit Hole, the these three are pretty are these three are good. But I have no idea how to beat the four that I'm currently stuck on. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. How long have I been streaming for? Almost four hours, wow. Well, maybe I'll call it here for today. Yeah, I think I'll probably call it here for today. This is starting to get to me. And I have no clue how to approach the last... These two. High Tide, I suspect either there's some serious cheese going on here, or there's something obvious, like... Or there's a block here that I'm somehow not seeing. And as for Sack, I can get the key out, but I can't seem to get the enchanted block out, so... Who knows? Yeah, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Unless someone wants me to play something else. Like, I can still keep going, but I'm probably not going to be keep to still be playing recursed though oh yeah i also had custom levels in here from elsewhere so yeah this is evidently the original skin of easy mode And yet, somehow I've forgotten how the solution to easy mode works, so... Wait, this is a different deficient, isn't it? No, it's the same, just laid out differently. Aqua is... Yep, Aqua is just a reskin of that other one. What's it called? What was it called? Anyway, Dive. Oh yeah, this one I never managed to solve either. Oh yeah, this is one of my own <laughs> creations. So, I mean, sure, I'll, I'll show what this thing looks like. Basically, if you don't solve this level correctly, you end up with a... Uh, you basically end up crashing the game.
Hmm. No, that's not how it works, is it? Uh, give me a sec. <laughs> Alright, and here's the last bit, which is just ridiculous. And the game just crashed! Hooray! No, seriously, it just threw up an error message and then crashed. <laughs> oh, <dear. sighs> So yeah, I kind of did that at one point. Completely forgot that, I'd act that I actually made that level, but whatever. Right, what's this green jar one? Oh yeah, this was a test level to see what happens if you enchant a jar. Alright. So here is an enchanted jar. Now there's going to be all sorts of crazy shenanigans happening. So please wait warmly until it is finished. Now, if I jump into this green jar, considering that the green jar is of this room, what would you expect to see? The answer is, if I jump into the green jar, the green jar is gone. So, as it turns out, jars actually break when you enter them, not when you exit them. What was this? This was... ah, well. The text in the background says WIP, work in progress. So the question is, how do you get over to the right hand side? The answer? Do this. <laughs> yes, really. This act, this genuinely happens, everyone. And we're done. Puzzle sponsored by Kuroshi. Pretty much, pretty much. But yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to do now, so I guess I'll just call it the end of the stream. And maybe I'll go play something else in the meantime. Yeah, that sounds good. Right, guess it's bye everyone. Uh, yeah. <laughs>